All right, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about the MoFi 4500 and how to do a speed band lock. Um, this is dependent on location, so uh, if you've purchased your um, MoFi directly from us, it has been set to all of that network's bands, um, but oftentimes some specific locations require um, either different bands or specific ones um, to get this fastest, best speed. So. With that being said, you want to start off with your device, whether it's a computer, um, you can do an Ethernet directly into your MoFi, or you can do wireless, Wi-Fi, either works. Ethernet's a little bit easier because you don't have to constantly reconnect to the Wi-Fi network. Um, every time you reboot or reset your, uh, your MoFi, sometimes it disconnects you from um, the Wi-Fi. So uh, you'll always have to be checking to make sure you're still connected. Um, so we'll go ahead and jump into this and get started. All right, so now that we have our MoFi's on, um, you can see that um, right here we have our MoFi, our solid uh, power light is on, our Wi-Fi light is on, and our LAN light is blinking. The LAN light is blinking because our Ethernet is plugged into it, which means it's showing that it's connected to something. Um, if we were connected via Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi light would be blinking as well. But our internet light's not on, so that means um, we probably need to do a speed band lock. Um, a couple things that we want to check before that is we just want to make sure that our firmware is up to date um, to the newest software. Uh, if you have a MoFi 4500 V2, um, the V2s didn't get the speed band lock function until uh, just recently on a new firmware update. So you want to make sure that if you have an older one or you've purchased one from us, um, that probably was um, sooner or, la or later than 2022, then you'll want to double check and make sure that all this is up to date and, and ready to go. So now that we're connected, we're plugged in via Ethernet. Um, we're going to type in the IP address into the search bar. Make sure you use Firefox for this. This is very important. Um, for whatever reason, Google Chrome and Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge don't communicate well with MoFi, and they oftentimes can corrupt data, uh, especially if you're doing a firmware version update. Um, it will mess with the file, and it'll oftentimes corrupt it, causing problems and creating issues for your MoFi. So make sure you're either using Google Chrome or Firefox or uh, like Safari um, on your, uh, if you're using an Apple product. So 192.168.10.1 is our IP address. We're gonna hit enter. That's gonna load up our main page. Um, here I already have this password auto saved, but the password is admin, all lowercase, A-D-M-I-N. And then you're going to hit enter. All right, that's going to take you to our main page. Uh, as we can see here, uh, let's see, we'll go over here to our status real quick. So first thing you want to check is make sure your firmware is up to date. Um, you can see here on firmware version, um, it says MoFi 4500 B3 1.3.7.S or dash STD. Uh, that's going to be a different number for each MoFi, depending on if you have the V2 or the V3. Um, so V3s are going to start with a 1. It's going to be 1 dot, yada, 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 yada. But you want to make sure it's the newest version. So um, make sure to go to our help desk. We have our support articles on there. You can go to your specific V3 or V2 and find the firmware update, and it'll show you what the latest firmware update is. Um, I also have the file there and everything. We have a, a video on how to do that or instructions on how to update your firmware. So please go ahead and do that if you notice that um, your firmware version is is not that number um, that's up to date. So uh, it might not be 1.3.7 in the next two months from the time this video is made. So make sure that you check the support um, article first because that's where the, the most up-to-date information is going to be. So now that we've checked, as of today, um, this is the newest updated version of the of MoFi for the V3. Um, so we're good there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over here under Network. So we'll hit Network, and then MoFi Internal Modem comes down. Um, of course, you want to make sure that your APN is always set properly to whatever device you have. So if you have a AT&T line or a T-Mobile line, uh, make sure to follow the APN instructions and make sure that you have the pr proper one. 
you want to make sure that your SIM ID, you have the right SIM card that's reading and it says yes, SIM card installed, all that kind of stuff. So that's all in other videos, but I just wanted to touch base on that real briefly. Um, one thing you want to change before doing the speed band lock is your service mode. So you're going to go to service mode, you're going to click here and you're going to see all these options of uh, WCDMA, GSM, 4G, LTE. Um, the, the V2 is going to be a little bit different, but what you want to click is anything that says 4G only or LTE only. So if it's 4G slash LTE only, that's perfect. We just want to set, set that to only on the service mode and then we'll hit save. That's gonna then save the service mode to 4G LTE only. Once that is configured and has saved up here, we will move on to the next step. All right, so now that the service mode has saved to 4G LTE only, we are here on the left side of the page. If you scroll down and you look, you're gonna see speed band lock. That is where we wanna go next. So you're gonna hit speed band lock. That's gonna load up a whole new page. Um, so on this page, you're gonna see select internet provider. And it's gonna give you an option of all the different providers that you have. So we're currently using an AT&T uh, SIM card for this video. So depending on what you have, if you have T-Mobile or AT&T, you just wanna click the correct one. Um, and then it's gonna say select number of tests. You're gonna leave that at two. Um, and then lock to band on finish. Um, one band with highest speed. That's typically where you want it set. I think that's the only option that'll let, let you. I believe the V2 lets you choose how many bands it locks onto. Um, this one says one band with highest speed. I, if I remember correctly, the V2 allows you to, to choose up to two or three. Um, so that's up to you on if you wanna have multiple bands. Sometimes I would suggest just have one. Um, but if you, if you wanna have two, just in case maybe one gets overloaded or goes down, um, you have one that defaults to a different one. So after you've selected all that, you're gonna hit start scan. And then this is where it starts the scan down here at the bottom. So one thing that's just to, important to keep in mind, this process can take anywhere up to 30 minutes. Uh, I have some customers that'll get done in five minutes. Some people it'll take 15 minutes. Some people it's taken 30 minutes. Um, you're gonna see here on the page, here, let me zoom in a little bit. Um, you're gonna see on the page, it's gonna give you the band. So it's currently on B2 and it is running. It's got the DBM there. It's got the signal quality, all of that. It's gonna show you uh, its results. So just because it's stuck on B2 does not mean that it's done. Um, it is now working through all the different bands and taking its sweet, sweet time. So uh, typically on AT&T, it's gonna run through B2 before uh, B12, B14, and potentially B30 and B66. It depends, and maybe even B71. Um, it depends on what version of um, MoFi you have. If you have a SIM7, the SIM8, uh, the SIM4, they're all, they all have different band capabilities. So this is gonna take a while, um, so don't rush it, give it time, let it do its thing. Um, and then once it's done, we'll come back and uh, we'll, we'll talk about what we see. All right, now the band lock is finished. So let's see here. So what we can look at here, we can see it's ran through all the different bands with all the different signals. It gives us all the numbers. And once it gets to the end, it gives us a final report. So you can see summary. And then it gives us a report of each one. So this is kind of an important page. I would go ahead and snap a photo of this um, just so that you have it on your record. And then if you need to send it to us, we can help you decipher um, sometimes with the MoFi, it has a hard time. It'll give you the final band locking, you know, test run on everything, but it may run into a little glitch and it might not actually lock onto the fastest one. Um, but so this is just good for your records so you know what is what, because then you can go through and kind of see, okay, this one's negative 90 dBm, this one's negative 89 dBm. Um, the lower, closer to zero you are, the better signal it's going to be. Uh, that doesn't always mean it's going to be the fastest, but it means it's at least you have the best signal. So um, if you want to send that photo to us, we'd be more than happy to tell you which one's the better one. Um, and you can also find that on some of our support articles. So we'll scroll down here. We see our, our summary page. Continue to scroll. It says locks released. It is done. Um, you are locked onto band 14. So now that it is locked onto band 14, 
we'll move on. All right, so now that the lock is done, we're gonna come over here on our left side of our screen. We're gonna go to Selective Band Lock. Um, we're gonna click on that. Now, depending on whether or not you have the V2 or the V3, it's gonna be different. Um, it might say Selective, it might say Advanced. Um, it's gonna be one of the two, Selective Band Lock or Advanced Band Lock. So we can see here we have LTE bands that set to Custom. It's already locked ours on the band 14. Um, our WCDMA bands is set to all. You want to come here and set that to none. So once that's set to none, we'll hit save. Now on our MoFi itself, you can see that it has an internet light on, but we still don't have internet. Um, so one important thing is after we've done all that, we've taken the picture of the summary, we've come over to selective or advanced band lock, we've seen that it, it successfully set it to band 14, um, we set WCDMA bands to none, hit save. Um, if you come to the selective band lock or advanced band lock and it has not set um, the LTE bands to so the proper one that it locked onto, what you want to do is you'll just want to hit the LTE bands up here. If it's set to all or none, you want to hit custom. And then that's where you can basically check the box of the band that you want. That's why I say take a picture of the speed band lock summary page because sometimes it can run into a glitch and it won't save it. Um, so then you can kind of go back, look through, or send it to us and we can tell you, okay, you want to lock on the bands 4 and 14, or you want to lock on the bands 2 and uh, 12 or whatever. Um, Oftentimes 12 is a band you're gonna stay away from just because it's a cell phone band, but depending on location, there are some people that can get uh, decent speeds off of band 12. So it is on band 14 and we hit save after setting WCDMA bands to none. Uh, what we wanna do next is we wanna run it through a reboot. So you can come down to system here on the left, scroll all the way down, you see reboot, click on that and it says perform reboot click there and now it's going to run the MoFi through a power cycle. Um, you can either do it through the interface like that or you can just simply unplug it from the wall for about 10 seconds and then plug it back in. So once it's powered back up we'll come back on and uh, we should have some working internet. Alright now that our MoFi is back up and on we are on the main MoFi page we signed back in um, using the IP address and then you can see under external IPv4 address we do have an IP address so that means it looks like we have a working internet connection so we'll run over here real quick run a speed test and we should be good to go let's start scan we have a working internet connection. Thanks for watching and hope this was helpful.